Peace family, this reading is for Gemini. This is your year ahead reading for 2020. So I got two new decks family. The Wisdom, wisdom, wisdom of the Hidden Realms by Colette Baron Reed and the Golden Universal Tarot. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If this reading resonates, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. <clears throat> I did not um, do any pre-shuffles, but I have shuff ugh, shuffled my cards a few times. You know, just so it's not in a deliberate order or anything. Most decks come in a certain order, so I did shuffle them up a few times. But I am going to shuffle on camera for your reading. Now, um, disclaimer, if you're used to readers who do like a Celtic cross spread, I do not. I do what I am intuitively guided to do. And what messages come forth that's channeled through spirit, that's what I go by. So let's get into your reading, Gemini. What is the messages for Gemini for 2020? Now, I did hear ringing bells before I got into your reading, before I started this reading. Some of you may be considering marriage or at least entertaining the idea of marriage or what marriage means to you. For my engaged Gemini's, congratulations. Spirit, what messages do you have for 2020 for Gemini? The Cosmos. Creativity and vastness. Very spiritual. Creativity. I'm getting that if you're starting anything new, it's like you are you're aligning yourself with your higher self for this creativity. If you're working on a creative project, you get the message, uh, messages that you need. We have 41, which is 5. I'm here, regeneration as well. Okay, so let's clarify the cosmos with the tarot. Again, this is the Golden Universal Tarot. Who is it by Robert? Put on. Roberto DeAngelis, or DeAngelis. It's a beautiful deck, might I add. Brand spanking new. I had to push my little candle to the side, to the wayside, because um, <laughs> I can't afford no fire, no flames with my new deck. So we clarify the cosmos for Gemini for 2020. Then I said I'm hearing ringing bells in the near distance. So we have the Two of Cups and the Three of Wands. So you're waiting for your ships to come in with the soulmate, possibly a twin flame. Wow. 
Okay, Gemini. Hmm. The cosmos. So this person could definitely be a twin flame. This person definitely match you spiritually, creatively. That you're a match. You're a divine match. You're divine feminine. He is divine masculine. getting mental exhaustion and strain what in the hee haw hell why is this causing mental exhaustion and strain okay i'm getting to t i'm getting the i'm being told to tell you that if you don't um not if you don't, but um, I do divine feminine, divine masculine, and karmic readings. So you may want to tune in to those readings. So I'm getting that this reading is about your divine feminine or divine masculine. Take this as it resonates. That you may not be in union right now, but your union is spiritual, is special. And if you're not together right now, it's causing you a lot of um, anxiety, frustration, Aggravation. It's the nine of swords. And because it's a new year coming up, you're trying to figure out what you want to do with this relationship. Where is this relationship headed? Where is it going? You're being asked to pray for your answers. What other messages do you have for Gemini for the year 2020? We have the High Priestess along with the king of wands so you <clears throat> they may be um aries leo or sagittarius or a libra or cancer scorpio or pisces and i'm hearing missing information you may think that you know all you need to know about this person. But they I'm hearing also that they keep a lot of secrets. You or them keep a lot of secrets. Or you both keep a lot of secrets and are trying to figure each other out. You've exuded a lot of patience around this person. The angels, too, are asking for you to have patience. And I'm getting that you've been waiting a while. And it's like a stop and go, stop and go type of vibe that you two have. You want to move forward. They want to move forward. Yeah. Getting shown Leo and Sagittarius. We have a pair. We have the King of Wands and the Queen of Wands. You both are, I won't say you're not struggling for money, but it's more of a concentrated and focused 
on your money. This person has a lot of um, growing up to do. Like they have the King of Wands energy, but they're still very immature. And you or them don't know, you know, where to go with this relationship. But it's like you both know that the two of you together will make each other very happy. You will have a successful home and life together. But y'all both don't know how to go about it. I'm going to pull another wisdom card. Spirit, what messages do you have for Gemini the year ahead, 2020? <clears throat> I'm hearing debate. It's like you're debating what to do. Like a spiritual debate with yourself. So, basically all of 2019, you were basically on pause, like waiting for this relationship to develop and you to really finalize this strong union connection that you have. So you're going into 2020 debating on if you're going to continue or just let things be. The Rainmaster of Scrutiny. Discernment, clear vision, and details. I'm getting the energy that this person love bombed you. They love bombed you, but you, you got answers from the divine about this person, about this union. So they, they don't have the discernment. They don't have the clear vision. They don't have the details that you have about this relationship. Rest assured in 2020, they will, whether you stay or walk away. They will have clear discernment, clear vision, and details on what this relationship and union is supposed to be. Okay, I wanted to keep this reading short, sweet, and to the point. If you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I'm not the type of reader that will take an hour or two. Nothing wrong with it, but if I can get the message out to you short and sweet, so be it. I want to say, Gemini, that there is hope for this union. But even if you choose to move forward, Spirit wants you to pray about it. Ask the divine for answers. Money is definitely not the issue. I don't see any strife, um, anger, or ego. It's just some confusion on both parts is what I'm seeing. Some obstacles that may have gotten in the way. I'm getting that this person may have had to walk away from someone else. And that was the decision that kept you guys. Like, I don't know what to do. Yeah. They had to walk away from someone. Or make a decision to. 
and you're busy working, working, taking care of home, collecting your coins, and the both of you are like, how is this going to work out? There's a decision that needed to be made, or will be made, 2020. Okay? Peace, family.